Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I am back with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary for you guys to watch and enjoy. This one is a Team Fortress 2 Lobby.com match I played a couple of days ago and I just kind of want to talk about one specific thing in this video and that is being unorganized because I am the most unorganized procrastinate person you will ever meet but quite right now I'm quite organized I have my uh, microphone set up in a nice position I have my strawberry milkshake in my hand for when I get a bit thirsty which is actually right now and I don't know how professional me drinking strawberry milkshake is or uh, like me dr drinking strawberry milkshakes are professional at all like I doubt that's a thing but you know uh, it's, it's nice I'm gonna drink it Yeah, there we go. And I'll try not to drink too much strawberry milkshake in this video, but uh, I actually have something to talk about, and that is being unorganized. Because as, as I said, I'm a very unorganized person, and a very procrastinating person, and I don't really put in a lot of effort into the things that I do, but every so often, I'll put too much effort into something. And uh, I know that kind of sounds stupid, but let me just go over it. So the reason I'm talking about being unorganized in this particular video is, as you can see, if you watch the chat throughout this, this is a lobby match and this is the most unorganized lobby match I've ever seen. A lot of people were talking about uh, this thing that happened, which basically our medic left just as we were about to start, so we didn't have a medic to push out. We were trying to restart, but you know, we weren't organized, we weren't really coordinating about it. and. It wasn't very good, and I didn't enjoy this. And the reason I'm showing this is for two reasons, actually. One, because it is relating to the being unorganized topic. And two, um, well, I had nothing else to show. Uh, <laughs> we had a late start today because of school, and I was extremely unorganized this morning. I want to talk about that as well. But uh, I had an extra two hours in bed because we started two hours later than usual because of all the snow and everything. Uh, just sort of a wave, making sure everybody gets into school safely. And as the comments suggested in yesterday's video, uh, the snow that we get here in England is nothing compared to places like Finland. But everybody has like a massive breakdown about it. So it's quite interesting. So uh, yeah, we had an extra two hours to get to school this morning. I didn't need it. I just spent my time in bed sleeping because I enjoyed to sleep. And uh, then I realised I should have gotten out earlier because I wasn't organised at all. Um, here in England, we have to wear a uniform. Sorry, I now have the hiccups. Brilliant! Uh, <laughs> here in England, we have to wear a uniform. I couldn't find that. My bag somehow disappeared. My shoes were all over the house. I don't understand how that even happened, but it just shows that I'm unorganized. Uh, doing work, like homework or coursework or anything, that we have to take home and basically be relied on to do something at home. I'm completely completely unorganized for that any schoolwork I do at school will most likely most likely get lost if um, nobody like if somebody else doesn't handle it for me I know that kind of sounds like um, I'm relying on other people a lot because that's kind of true like I don't trust myself with the majority of things which is why I don't take books from a library true story also the video paused here just because on the server we actually paused more about being unorganized um, I was actually going to cut this part out, I forgot. Um, <laughs> that's, that's just a thing that I don't really, I'm not organised and I don't think about that sort of stuff. But this was just sort of a way to make sure everything was okay. We tried to get rid of some person, I don't even know. I wasn't actually paying attention to it too much because I didn't really care. Like, I just wanted to play some Team Fortress 2 as the engineer. Also, going off topic a second, uh, I now have my unusual safe and sound with nuts and bolts. And I want to give a massive awesome shout out to Mr. Good Guy Golden. I previously knew him as Golden. Uh, he showed up to a live stream and he's been a subscriber for a while. And uh, he gave uh, Loaf and myself a bunch of items, so we suggested that he should call himself Good Guy Golden. And he's just sort of stuck with that for now. I like that, it's a pretty cool, cool name. He actually gave me 37 keys yesterday um, to match my 23, because even though the price of the Nuts and Bolts nuts and bolt safe and sound is only 2.1 to 2.5 buds the there is only about four or five on the market that um 
are actually on sale for decent prices and they're all around three buds. Um, I actually added somebody not knowing he was a subscriber. It's awesome being recognized and <laughs> this guy was a, a subscriber as well. So he, well, he didn't sell it cheaper, which I kind of wanted to kind of. But um, I understand that you didn't want to do that. It's, it is still trading. Just because I make YouTube videos, there's no reason to um, give me stuff cheaper. But if you want to, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, <laughs> so I bought that for 60 keys, and I'm going to be paying back the keys to Good Guy Golden when I sell my demo man's unusual. Uh, I'll be selling that soon, and also uh, trying to buy a strange festive wrench. I actually had one reserved, and then uh, after I bought the safe and sound, uh, somebody was actually selling it for 23 keys, and it was difficult, and I can't really find one at a decent price yet. Most of them have been sold in massive sets, um, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. If anybody does have a strange festive wrench that they would like to reserve for me when I get the keys, uh, I'll probably pay a decent price uh, if you would like to reserve it, if you're nice like that. Uh, but yeah, back onto being unorganized. See, I don't even have anything to talk about in this video too much. What the problem is with me is I run out of a lot of things to say. I talk every day for a few minutes and I run out of stories extremely quickly. And uh, I actually thought of being unorganized whilst watching this play uh, demo back whilst it was recording. I had no idea what I, what I wanted to talk about. I realized how unorganized I am and this just sort of this is the outcome of my own organization thing so if you want to learn anything from this video because I know some of you guys do want my videos to be slightly educational um, don't rely on me to do stuff I'm extremely unorganized and I have like hiccups if you have hiccups you're supposed to drink water upside down does that work with strawberry milkshake? Like, I'm not going to drink it upside down, but I'm just going to use this as an excuse to drink some strawberry milkshake. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Like, if you've never tried a strawberry milkshake, go do that. It is the nicest thing I have ever drunk or drinked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, being unorganized, I'm very unorganized. I'm curious if you guys are as unorganized as me. Like, I presume if you watch YouTube videos at all, really, you're going to be a very procrastinating person. You're going to be somebody who procrastinates a lot, and usually that links with being, un being unorganized. So if you are unorganized, be sure to tell me in the comment section below and give me some examples, because I kind of want to make myself feel better without being the most unorganized person you'll ever meet. Uh, but, I don't know, I guess that can be something I'm proud of. I don't, I don't know how this works. Uh, <laughs> I actually got, um, since I stayed up uh, quite late last night, I actually got my Ready Steady Pan competition thing, uh, the name, uh, the, the team that we're going to be playing next, and it's going to be quite fun. I'm quite excited to play it. Uh, we get badges, even if we lose, and if we win, then you get better badges. Like, <laughs> it's a win-win situation. You either get a badge, or you get a cooler badge. I'm fine with just participating and getting the participant badge because um, there's only about 60 teams and they all consist of about 6 uh, people. Um, yeah, about 6 people per team because it's 6v6. Um, so in the European one, I believe there's like 62 teams. That's about 360 people. There's not going to be that many of the badges out there. And I, it's sort of something that I can keep to myself. I'm like, yes. I participated in this, I can pan people in the face. It's also been helping a lot playing Engineer because I can time my gun swing, gun slinger swings. Um, try saying that five times over. <laughs> and also timing like how quickly the pan uh, swings as well. It is actually helping me improve and that's just by um, me trying to kill people with a pan. But anyway, mine has been Hayden. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a comment down below telling me so, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. I'm leaving you with a picture of somebody calling me a hacker on a two-fault server because apparently I have a 100% crit. So thank you all so much for watching. Mine has been Hayden, and I will see you all in the next one.